Hi everyone, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a different approach. You know what I mean? Like, no, you don't know what I mean. <laughs> this is the reason why we're having this conversation. All right, so you ever have maybe like a few, pla 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 a few palettes <laughs> that they're just sitting there and you're like, I know I did not like you, <laughs> that sounds horrible. I know you didn't perform well, but I don't remember why you didn't perform well. And I don't want to throw you away and I don't want to give you away because I know I didn't like you. So anyways, that is what this video is about. Redoing, mm -hmm, revisiting palettes that I just didn't vibe well. And who knows what that could have been. Maybe it could just have been me. Maybe I wasn't applying it right, applying it right. Maybe it was the brushes themselves, or maybe it actually is the quality of the palette that just completely turned me off. Either way, I want to do a revisit or redo on those palettes and just see, just see, maybe, maybe they are well, maybe they do perform well. Let me give them the benefit of the doubt. So in today's video, we are going to be revisiting, redoing the Morphe and Manny MUA Glam palette. So I did receive this in a glam. <laughs> in a boxy charm shipment. I don't remember if it was a base, premium, luxe, whatever, but I do know that I did re receive it from boxy charm. Now, you can still pick this palette up for $20 on the Morphe's website. Um, just to be completely fair, I didn't look at the reviews, but I do know what it is for sale because I did check it out just to make sure that you're able to still purchase it just in case it does perform decently and you guys are like, well, for 20 bucks, let me go ahead and get that. Anyways, you guys, so before we get started, on redoing, revisiting this particular palette and see if it actually performs well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications and also give my video a thumbs up, likes, however you guys want to call it nowadays. But without further ado, let's just get my eyes primed and get going. <laughs> Bang them. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and got my eyelids primed. Um, just in case you want to know what product I use, I did I will <laughs> list all that information in the description field below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Anyways, as I'm looking in uh, like the external monitor, I'm like, I need a little bit of whiteness for my under eyes right now. So let me just go ahead and do that really quick. So what I'm going to be using, it is the uh, Dragon Beauty. This is the Transformation Face Powder. I do really like this actually. I had this for quite some time and for whatever reason, I just never used it. And now I'm actually really enjoying it. And I have no clue why I never used it. Anyway, so let me just brighten up my eyes area underneath my eyes just a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a little better. For some odd reason, it would just look a little too dark. All right, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the first shade I'm gonna go into this particular palette. So I'm gonna use just to kind of bring out the brightness of it right away and use it as a transition shade, I'm gonna go into Dust Cloud, which is this nice, really very light neutral shade. So the brush I'm gonna be using, this is a Morphe E17. The video is not sponsored by Morphe, by all means, it just happened to be using Morphe products. Anyways, you guys, so, but if Morphe wants to hook me up, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so I'm gonna go right here so what I'm going to do, just to, because I did pick up quite a bit of product, as you can see, I like to actually work that product into the actual bristle so I don't lose any of that product. So I just go back and forth just like this. So now all of the product is either on my hands or inside the actual brush themselves. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use this as more as a transition shade to bring out the actual color themselves or the eyelids themselves that made no sense all right so i'm gonna go apply this right here and just right above the crease line area so hopefully you're able to see it now again i'm not expecting any payoff in terms of color wise of pigmentation i'm just doing this basically so that i'm able to use this more of a kind of like a base overall for the shades to apply on so let me go ahead and finish this and then we'll get right into the next shade all right, you guys, so the next shade I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Spellbound, and I'm gonna apply that directly right on the crease line area. And I'm just gonna go in there very lightly because I want this to be a light transition shade as well. So the brush I'm gonna be using is a Morphe M506. So again, the same method. I'm gonna go in here back and forth just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do, as you saw prior, I'm gonna adopt 
dap dot dap this in right here so I can make sure I can get all of the product at least most of it you see it right there right into side I make no sense um, right inside the bristles and then I'm just going to apply that right here as you see very lightly you see what I mean okay so hopefully I'm able to get a good payout again I don't remember why I did not like this palette the first time around. So I'm hoping that me doing a revisit, a redo, will give me a better idea of maybe it was just me, maybe it was just the brushes, or maybe I was just having an off day. Because who's to say what type of outlook I'm going to get after revisiting this particular palette. Because again, I never used it. Again, it just sits there in the like dusty drawer of palettes I don't use. But yeah, anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and finesse this a little bit more. As you see, I'm just taking my time because I want to make sure that I don't have any streakiness, any patchiness whatsoever. So just in case, if you want to go back into that shade again, you're like, oh, I don't want to pick up more product because I don't want to be too heavy. Just go back right into the old area that you just use right here. See what I mean? Just pick up a little bit more of that product. And guess what? It's going to now transition back onto the brush right onto the area that you want to apply it to. You see that a little bit? Mm -hmm. Not bad, isn't that? I'm hoping I'm helping you out with some easy, simple tricks. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I was able to go ahead and apply both of my eyelids with the shade Spellbound. So the next shade I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into the shade, which I, I'm not sure why I'm doing this because I'm not crazy about browns, but I am going to go into a brown shade. Where is it? <laughs> which is this shade right here called Howl. It's very dark. Is a very dark shade. So the next shade I'm going to go to, as I mentioned, is how I'm supposed to say hooded, <laughs> is Howl. I'm always crazy, you guys. So if you are new to my channel, I am a hot mess all the time. I am sorry. All right, you guys. I shouldn't be sorry. That's just my personality. All right. So same method. I go in here, get that eyeshadow within the bristles so I don't have to keep going back and forth into the pan. So what I'm going to do with this particular shadow, oh, I'm really pushing myself here because, oh, browns. I'm actually applying, apply, <laughs> I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner of my eye and the in corner of my eye. Oh, I tell you. All right, so how I like to do this, I like to dab it down right here. So if you notice, you see this? Okay, so I just keep working this, dab it down very lightly. So you see this, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go to the inner corner. I'm going to do the same method. So right here, dab it down. So why I'm doing it that way rather than going back or buffing it out is because what little bit of product I still have here, that little product I want it to go right here before I start using it all up. So this way I don't have to go back into the pan itself. So what I'm going to do now, the next go is after I dab this here and this here, now I'm going to start using the brush in circular motions and blend it out or upward. That's probably the better way, right? Um, upward with the other shade that I just got done using. So you see right here, I'll show you. Keep circular motions, and there we go. Look at that. So now all I have to do is just keep doing that to soften up the overall look, just so I don't have any harsh you know, lines or hard lines whatsoever. So let me go ahead and finish this, and then we'll get right into the next shade. So the next shade I'm going to go into in this particular palette, now I really want the eyes to pop just a little bit more because I want to take away from the, bra the, the brown. Not too much, but a little bit. So what I'm going to do, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this name correctly, Gamata, 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 which is this shade, no, it, this shade right here, yes. So I'm going to apply that right in the middle of the eyelids themselves. So let me go ahead and grab a brush raw heel. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So we'll get this one. This is a Morphe 506. Again, just in case you guys want to know. So as always, same method, picking this product up, make it work it around, work it around. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, same method again, getting some of that product inside the bristles. See, didn't lose any of the product. And guess what? This presents presents. This prevents <laughs> fallout as well. So, so if you notice, I did my face for you guys. And you see any product? Mm -mm. You know why? 
this sucker right here, this method. Don't say I didn't show you anything or I didn't teach you anything. Yep, look at this. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So me playing around. So I'm just going to go right here. Apply that right there. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, you see this? Now I'm going to work this right into the crease because you know what? It's going to hide anyways. So let me go back into here. Bring some more of that product in here. Now if I really need to go back into that palette, I can always do that. Not an issue. All right, you guys see this? So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this a little bit more and then we'll get into one last shadow. Okay, you guys, so I was able to go ahead and apply that particular shade and blend it out on both of the eyelids. So the next product or next shadow I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the shadow Cancer, which is this nice metallic purplish color right there. So what I'm going to do is actually apply that directly on the last shadow that I just used. So I'm going to use this particular tool not sure how you want to call it so I could use my finger and I may just do that too because again each product handles completely different in terms of the tool wise so as you see I'm just picking it up and now I'm just going to apply that right directly let me go ahead and use this um, mirror right here hopefully you guys are able to see so now I'm just going to apply this right here right on top of that shade so there you go see it okay let's go ahead and try the finger method oh, I just hate using the finger. I just feel like I have no control as to where this product is going. I don't know, I think it's because my finger is too big. So let's go ahead, right here, and there you go. You see that? Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. So what I'm gonna also do, I'm gonna use the highlighter Nova, and I'm gonna apply that right into the inner corner of my eye just to overall brighten it up. So let me go ahead and finish that off camera, and then we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I went off camera for just a brief moment to complete the overall look. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm to be completely honest. I'm actually completely shocked that this particular palette right here perform this way. I, I guess this is the reason why I really wanted to do a different segment on my channel. Redo, or I mean, revisit and redo from a palette that either they just didn't mesh well with me for whatever particular reason. Maybe the swatching, maybe the first time I actually used it, it just didn't perform well. So I thought, you know what? It's it's a horrible product. Let me just put it to a side and blah, blah, blah. But I'm glad that I'm actually revisiting it because this right here, this look did not perform the way the first time around. So I am pleasantly surprised. I feel like I'm using a palette for the first time around. Don't know why. Again, it could have just been maybe I was having an off day. Maybe if I was doing a swatching, I just didn't like the swatching. Maybe it was the makeup brushes themselves. Who knows? Maybe the world was upside down. Aren't we always upside down? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you guys. So what I did use, though, going forward, as I mentioned, I did use this particular highlighter um, uh highlighter shade shade nova i had to use that one because that actually is my daughter's name so <laughs> anyway so i use it in the inner, inner corner of my eyes and i actually use that as a highlighter now i'm pleasantly surprised look at that do you see that like okay i am not mad at the actual highlighters themselves like okay so overall in terms of my thoughts and opinions pleasantly surprised like i said earlier i really am the blendability was there there was no patchiness i didn't struggle with that so again i don't know what why i wasn't why, why I wasn't meshing with it. Anyways, you guys, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think with this overall look. What do you think? I mean, seriously, have you ever used this particular palette? And if so, what did you think of it the first time around? Did you enjoy it or did you hate it? Did you do the same thing I did? Revisit it and redo it to see like, hey, maybe it was just me. Anyways, you guys, I am pleasantly surprised and I'm content with this overall look. I really am. Now I just need to like, bite my pride and say you know what this actually is a pretty good palette especially for 20 bucks so if you're on a budget and you like these particular shades right here and you get two highlighters so technically technically you get 12 shades and two highlighters pick yourself up one seriously for 20 bucks not a bad deal anyways you guys if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell as well so anytime i upload new videos you automatically get the notification and if you really enjoyed if you <laughs> why i always struggle to 
speak in my videos. If you like the video as well, give me a thumbs up, likes, however you guys call it nowadays. But anyways, you guys, but until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Hopefully, maybe another revisit and redo palette. You guys tell me. Okay, anyways, bye now.